Okay, so hello guys, I am Henry John Griffin. Welcome to my next video in my next episode and season. And today, I have revealed to you about the play phone right here, which is I have in my pocket. Once again, it is a device that you can always have no matter what, because it's a play phone, which means it does not work anymore, but you'll still be able to use it even if it's messed up or cracked. Some phones you'll be able to use while, some phones you'll be able to use cracked up and messed up, and they may still work. But remember, if those phones are cracked up or you probably want to use it as a play phone, then you could probably avoid getting a device revoked. Well, you know the, pl you know the other play phones that literally uh, keep you from perfect, like a toy phone. A toy phone, for instance, is a privilege, but it's a type of play phone. You have to know what type of play phone you're talking about. If you're talking about this phone, no. But if you're talking about a play phone, yes. Yes, you can't get a play phone. A play phone cannot be taken away. But if you're talking about this phone, no, it can be taken away. If you're talking about uh, this phone, yes. If you're talking about this phone, uh, uh, if you, okay, so if you're talking about this phone, it can be taken away. But it, like, if you're talking about this phone, yes. If you're talking about this phone, no. If it depends on what phone you're talking about. You could be talking about some kind of play phone. But a play phone is a device where you can make believe, pretend, and do all sorts of things on it. As long as you're not pretending to download a virus, which your phone is still okay, even if you pretend to download a virus, because like I said, it's a pretend phone, but you still have to be careful. If you pretend to download a virus on a play phone, sometimes you could get in trouble, but you're not going to get in trouble because it does, all, you're not going to get in trouble all the time like that, because like I said, it's a play phone. It wouldn't matter what type of program you may run or what type of virus you are downloading. So as long as it's safe and you don't go on her Rogan websites and you don't go on anything like that. So as long as it's safe, as long as it's safe, your play phone will be okay with having you download a virus on it. Now there are websites on a play phone that contain threats to download a virus. If the virus on the play phone is bad, it's probably a different play phone and you probably could get in trouble sometimes. Same thing with threats, talking about hurting Rogan. It doesn't mean it's okay to go on those sites, but you can go on those sites. It won't affect your play phone because your play phone is just a play phone. If your play phone is real, then it's still, it's still going to be kept safe. Because you are still protected somehow because you don't want to get your phone taken away for pretending to do bad stuff on it. Well, a play phone, you could do whatever you want to. Download a virus on it. But if you are having fun with it, then you should only download a happy virus if you, if you are going to download a dangerous virus. So if you are going to download a dangerous virus on this thing, you must download a happy virus. Even though there's no such thing as a happy virus, try to download one or try to make one. Try to make one up or try to come up with your own. There are all kinds of different viruses. There are happy viruses and there are sad viruses. And there are most, there are angry viruses and there are mad viruses and bad viruses and happy viruses and even depressed viruses. These viruses match the emotions of a phone right here. So when you guys realize that I do have a play phone, I had. I had uh, I had two play phones that looked like this, but they're quite. They're the one. The other one is missing. I'm missing an, 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 another play phone. 
That's why I continue to talk about how it was basically popular to con consider a play phone to be similar as a real computer or to consider a brain to be similar to a computer. Other mental computer devices, you can get taken away if you be bad. But this, these mental computer devices, you can't get taken away. Actually, this is an electronic device, but we don't see any mental computer devices. Well, however, the phone right here is a electronic mental computer imaginary device. So it's basically an electronic imaginary device. A me it's a mental computer device. Sorry, it's a mental computer device. You use it for imagination. It does have wires and anything. It does have wires and things like that that send electricity, but it run it runs off electricity, but it's not exactly electronic. It is the same it is the same as a regular computer, but it's not exactly electronic. It does have electronic parts because like I said, it's an imaginary computer that you can actually touch. See, I'm touching it right now. It's an imaginary computer that I could actually touch. I could swipe my hands through the screen to begin the finger presses and then launch an app and then I could try doing running some other task or program that I would normally see. So I would take a phone that's already broken and I would make it, I would turn it into a play phone or a make-believe phone, a make-believe phone. That would be better. However, you could just use a, 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 any kind of play phone, a make-believe computer, a make-believe phone, a mental phone, a, a human roid phone, or probably a human phone or a, or a pretend phone, imaginary phone, creative phone, however you want to call it. But right now I'm just going to call it a play phone because that's what it is. It's a play phone. Play phones get the exact stream from the same, the same as ma um, um, imaginary mental computers. So guys, that's it for this episode. I'm now going to cut off the video.